Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're looking at a brand new toy slash tool called Bloom 3D. And I'm going to start this thing off with a warning. If you want to be productive this afternoon, don't check this out, because it is just it's strangely addictive. And what I think of Bloom 3D as, it's basically the essence of 3D modeling. It actually kind of reminds me of the olden days of using a program called Wings 3D to do polygonal modeling. And this is as bare bones as 3D modeling can get. You can basically draw lines and extrude. That's it. There's no translate. There's no rotate. None of that stuff. We start off with a simple shape and we can extrude it into different directions. So I can extrude it again and again, or I can extrude it out this way, or I can go this way. So if we want to add a little bit of complexity to it, well, that is where our line tool comes in. So we could do something like this, kind of like cutting that face. And then we go back to the extrusion and we can extrude out that individual face. The same way as I can come down here, I can cut that guy right there like so go back to extrusion and move it out. And that is, in a nutshell, how this guy works. But there's some really neat tools you could do with this. Uh, I can actually orbit things around, right mouse button, we can pan, uh, we can uh, move up and down, we can zoom in and out, uh, we can navigate, hold down the right mouse button and use the WASD keys. The angle that you are um, facing from is what determines how the line tool works. So let's say, for example, I work here from above like so, and I take the line tool and I draw like this, like so, and then I extrude that guy, it's actually going to extrude around our other surface. So you can do some really uh, cool modeling effects very, very, very quickly using this guy. So we, again, the, the algorithms behind it are actually really smart about figuring out how to cut, how to draw. Okay, the one time I say that is when it actually screws up because I don't think it snapped to the right edge. So that's the first time I've actually encountered that. It, it cut to the front instead of the back. So let me just do it from over here instead. So cut. Cut. So again, it's the orientation of your camera that determines how things work. And then boom, once again, extrude. So you do not have, you don't translate or move things around. You are making your model entirely out of a series of extrusions. Now, one thing you may have guessed at this point in time, I mean, you hit the F11 key. I am running this in a browser. So if you want to go ahead and check this guy out, again, standard warning applies. You will, you, you'll be fiddling around with it for a while. It is a strangely addictive little thing to play with. Um, it is available at bloom3d.com. Now there's a few other things you can do here. You can set the color of faces so over here. We've got a color palette. So I can click that. We can click a face like so and just kind of keep drawing faces. But otherwise, you draw lines, you use lines to do things like cut or close faces, open faces. On the topic of open faces, you also have the ability to delete faces. That's about it. You can also delete lines. So you can actually break down some shapes that you've been working with. And it is smart enough at doing the hidden line removal. At the same time, if I come back here to the line tool and I snap the right way, so you see it snapping as I was doing it, it will automatically fill in the faces as you go. It's it's really kind of fun. I have to tell you, it's just fun to play around with. If you're wondering about how things work out here, uh, over here, you've got the about, kind of walks you through the keys. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Kind of cool. It actually has touch controls as well. So if you're using this on a phone or on a tablet, it should work just fine. Um, and also, the key thing here is you can export your model out in uh, GLTF uh, binary format uh, at any time. So if you like the work that you've done, uh, so let me, how do I get rid of the about? Uh, click the about again. If you want to grab your work, go ahead. You can download it that way. And yeah, we just go ahead and open that guy up. Uh, here we go. Should look, throw it into the 3D viewer. And boom. There is your uh, created project. It seems to be very, very small for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, so you're going to probably have to do a hundred times zoom up on it to get it to uh, be a size you like. But as you see, it is uh, got the coloring and the texturing material, well, not textures, but uh, the uh, color data that you put into it. So you could go ahead and load that up into your uh, engine or modeling tool of choice. I would actually love to see continuing on this. If you stay with like the just the essence of 3D add in, I would like to see moving translation. I'd like to see edge beveling added in. And then just keep it at that. Literally make it this really streamlined 3D modeling process. And this isn't far off of how modeling is actually done today. Normally we start with uh, a cube, extrude it out, um, and then ultimately, you know, we, we subdivide the hell out of it, sculpt it, and so on. But base meshes generally start life as a cube with a series of extrusions and line cuts and loop cuts and so on. And that is kind of what you've got here. So this is bare bones as the tool can get, but it's also fun. 
Uh, and you know what? In this day and age, we could all use a little bit more fun. And that's the end of the video, because really, that's the end of the tool. If you want to go ahead and check it out, it is available at bloom3d.com. Uh, it was just released, so we're probably going to see some updates to it over time. I, again, this is not Max Maya or Blender competitor by any means. Uh, it is a simple, streamlined 3D modeling tool that's fun to work with. And it'll be interesting to see what this turns into. So again, this is mostly a toy. It's definitely fun to check out, and I, my warning stands. Uh, you start playing around with it, you, you'll just lose minutes to hours of your day. Uh, so enjoy your loss of productivity this afternoon, and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.